I'm going to tell you something. I know she was an overcomer. Hallelujah. I know it. By faith, I know. Thank you, Lord. I know that. Thank you, Lord. She ain't the only one I know, but I know her. The more she read, the more Christ she got at Because that's what Christ is. He's the living word of God. You've got to have it in you to have him in you. What am I saying? Oh, God. So, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. I love you. I love every one of you. I appreciate every one that God has brought in. I do. I really do. Somehow, some way, sometime, somewhere, everybody in here has helped me. Carol, Carol, you know that day in the guy in the hall back there when that scroungy looking mutt come running up there and I had my granddaughter there and I thought that dog was going to get on her and I said, up! Oh! <laughs> 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 Of course, I'm used to hollering at everything. I holler at Matthew. Amen. I holler at my wife. But she loved me. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up with the right spirit. She hollers at me, too. <laughs> but see, that helped in that body. That was something I needed. See, I didn't look at Carol. When I walked out the back door, I think, you you really messed up in there, didn't you? You let that... How am I going to get loose, didn't you? <laughs> huh? You just let him get loose. Yeah. You had to do it, John. Good. good thing it wasn't but two or three people around. But we got it right. Yeah. See, I can't let that. I couldn't let that. No, sir. Pain. No, sir. Because it'll fester, it'll grab. Yes, it will. Something will get hard in your spirit. That's right. right. Come on. Man. You'll forget about it. But the devil won't forget about it. Right. Six months later, brother, he'll jerk that thing out the closet and ram it right in front of your face. <laughs> wow! Well, huh? Remember this, brother John? That's right. That's not the only time I've done something like that. I've done something with sister Lee Wallace's wife. Brother Lee Wallace's wife. Boy, well, she straightened me out right quick. Then this woman come running around the corner of that building down there, but I tell you, she's ready to scalp me. <laughs> See, Jesus brought me all this. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He brought all this to me. Amen. He brought the love that I have in my heart, Amen. the knowledge that I have in my brain. Yes. And He did it all for every one of us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. There's some wonderful things that's happened yes, in this, the lives of these people right here. Sister Marlo, and right on down. Right on down to today. I look at Brother Gerald, I think about him on many a time. Faithful for all Faith. these years. Yes. Since you have been Standing. Yes. Walking on the wall. Amen. Standing guard. Amen. Keeping the enemy back. That's right. <laughs> Keeping the enemy back. Yes. Well, I don't see them doing too much. You know, they just sit around and put a little bit of them in there. all that kind of stuff. Let me tell you something. Brother, faithfulness is one of the greatest things there is in this world. Counted Abraham for righteousness. Yes. Faithful Abraham. Faith. Yes. It takes people to be here on time, working with the right attitude, the right spirit, lifting up the name of Jesus to keep it free and clear from the mud, the slop, and the slime. Of the world. Be separate. See, I'm not talking about a building. I'm not talking about ground. I'm talking about people. I'm talking about the church. Yes. See, we don't need to be in this stuff. No. We need to get up out. Up, oh, up. Oh, get up out of it. Yes. Don't let it get on you. Don't let it stain your clothes. Don't walk in it. Don't get the smell of it on you. Can y'all think about scriptures as good when I'm talking like that? Sure. The smell. You know scriptures on that? We're different. God chose us to make us different. Yes, he did. Right. Amen. Not to say that we are greater than everybody else. Not that. Right. Not to be big-headed or so ambitious and look at ourselves like we've got it out and nobody else got anything. Not that way. Yeah. Yeah. But we got it in us to share with others. Amen. To give out. Amen. 
Get out and God will give you more. Get out and God will give you more. I don't care what it is. I got up there for one, I had one thing on my mind. I was going to take an offering. See, I know where the church is at. I know right where the church is at. I'm one of the trustees of this church. I listen to my pastor talk about things. Explain things to us. We got a convention coming. We need help. We need to lift up the church. This is a burden. Surely. I know the economy is the way it is. I understand all that. I'm no, I'm no different than you I did not save millions of dollars when I was in business. I didn't do it. But I don't know anything. And that's a wonderful thing to have. God made that possible for me not to owe anything. God did. So tonight I want you to lift the burden. I want you to get under it. Put your shoulder under it. Bend your shoulder to the bear. Lift the burden of this church. Let's give to the God. Give unto the Lord. Give your offerings as unto the Lord. Come on. Come on. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna listen to me? Amen. Y'all gonna listen? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go ahead and get it ready. Sister Stewart, Sister tomorrow, let's get a song. Let's, this is one of the greatest ways to praise God that there is. Amen, amen. You know why? God don't look at the outward part of you. God looks at the heart. Amen. God looks at your heart. And that's where that comes from, giving. It starts in your heart. It starts down deep. And that part of you that touches God, that loves God, that loves His people, <clears throat> Come on and give, church. Come on. Hallelujah. I love you. Praise the Lord. Glory. Glory.